Hello everyone. It's Martha Makes here. I am going to paint this pumpkin on a piece of, uh, it's a wood-like canvas. I got this at Walmart, and I believe it's a six by six. And this pumpkin pattern I got from a website. Well, actually it's a Facebook group page and I will read you the name of it and I will post the link and um, at the end of the video so like so you can go join if you'd like and get the pattern and also get a more in-depth lesson so it's uh, Facebook and it's called let's paint with plaid and they have several free lessons on there with free templates like this and this is the last one I think they did it on Thursday and I'm going to do mine. It's not, I'm not going to attempt to do it exactly like the artist did, but I'm going to do my version, I guess. And what I did was I went ahead and drew, traced as much of the pumpkin as I could. And then I drew, finished drawing it myself because I didn't get it copied down, oh, on the wood very well. And then I traced it in black, um, marker in my uh faber castell india ink markers it's just so that i can see it and also you can see it a little better and then i painted my canvas over it just to kind of stain it with a little bit of uh burnt sienna and um some water to kind of spread it out a little bit to make it thinner and um over here, these six paints is the ones that I already have laid out on my palette. And right here, you can take a screenshot if you'd like, if you'd like the colors. It's Liquitec Basic Acrylics. And over here are three extra colors that I might grab if I feel the need. I might also grab a little white too if I need it. And then I have these darker colors right here. You can also screenshot those if you'd like. If I can get them, see, yeah, there, you should be able to see that without too much shine. And I might grab from those too if I see the need later. But I thought I would attempt to paint this. Um, it might be a little hard for me. Bear with my head in the way if it gets in the way. Take a drink of my coffee here. I picked out some of my favorite uh, size brushes for a little painting. And let me show you what I bought at Walmart the other day. This is actually a makeup caddy. And uh, I thought it would work, it would work well with some of my brushes. I have a bunch of brushes up here. I have too many brushes. But these are the ones that I tend to grab for the most when I'm doing a small painting. And... Uh, so if you might be interested, you might get yourself one of these. They had them in this uh, mint green. They had a bright pink and they had a gray. And so I picked out of my caddy some of my brushes that I thought I might be using. But it's here handy if I want to try to grab some more. So I think what I'm going to do, let me see what I want to start with. Now one of the things the artist talked about as that um, he used the dark of the wood t for the shading and he also didn't try to cover up all of the burnt sienna or I think that's the color he used on his piece. But um, I might not do it exactly like him and I might not have it quite dark enough but I thought that I would try it. So I'm going to start by going in with some of this darker green. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say the names right now. You have it right here if you want to do a screenshot. Or if you didn't get it, you can ask me later and I will try to find it for you. But 
Oh, well, I hope you can see this because I'm going to have to probably hold it up a little. But I'm going to go in here. Maybe I don't need any water at all. His wood was a lot rougher than this one, so I'm probably not going to be able to scrub things out like he did. But I kind of like this green showing through. I mean, this uh, burnt sienna showing through the green. And I might go over it with another coat if I feel it necessary. But I'm going to paint the leaves first. Might even go in the stem. But he goes into really good detail. It's a really good site to get some free templates and some good lessons that are free. And I kind of like to follow other artists. Sometimes you learn a lot that you didn't know. I never even thought about just um, leaving the color show through like that on purpose. And using the dark as a uh, your shading let me try this one without going in without putting any water oh it does it's a little more pigmented but see i like to go over this with the dark color so i can see it well and you can see it better too I kind of like this style. I might try it on another painting too. Let's, well, let's first see how this comes out. Let's see. Let me hold this up a little. Now, he wasn't too precious about staying in line. I guess it because it kind of blended in to the background a little bit. I think he did his stem last, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get some color in. Now I got a little bit of this, um, I think it's called red ochre. I'm going to mix that, just a dab of that over here in the stem. Let's see. Yeah, can't tell a lot of difference, but a little bit. Alright, I'm going to grab a paper towel here so I can... Now, I think I will go in with just a little bit more of that darker green. Not a lot. Make the color stand out a little bit more. get it too dark because I want to see my my lines now what I'm going to do is take some of this dark green and mix it in it's kind of a, I don't know a golden yellow I'm gonna mix that in try to go in and make a little bit of highlight So 
So what I'm doing is taking these two colors, mixing them together to make a little bit of a lighter green. Okay, I got probably too much on my brush. Okay, I'm gonna go down the center. And he took it and kind of scrubbed it this way. And I'm going to do the same on all three of them while my center line is still showing. There. So it's not real bright yet, but don't worry, we're going to go in with some more color here in a minute. I think I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit more. Now let's go, let's see. This will go over here. Make some of the edges of these leaves lighter. This is not usually my style, but I really wanted to try it. I thought it was really pretty. And probably much better than I could have done on my own. So let's go, let's try to lighten that up a little more. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I don't know if you could see the difference, but it's getting a little bit of highlight over there. Pretty good. Let me see if I can cover up some of my black marks. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Just didn't want it to be outlined, you know. some more of that uh, black outline a little bit. Okay. style of painting. I'm going to have to do it again. 
There we go. There's some lighter yellow. I'm going to go back over here with some more. Some of that smoothed out. I'm not really going in any direction. It might probably look better if I did, but I'm just getting some paint on there right now. I like that. Okay. I'm going to drink of my coffee. So, I went on my retreat this last weekend. Had a good time. The word and the music was wonderful. Good message and the music was just outstanding. Everybody was saying they need to do a CD. They need to do a CD. Now I think I'm just going to go in here with some pure yellow. And, but oh man, I was so tired when I got home, exhausted. So I think I'm using more paint than he did. Still liking it. I really haven't been out of town in a long time. And I really, I think I got that just a hair too light right there, that underneath leaf. So I'm gonna go in there with a little bit of darker green, kind of darken it up a little bit. Maybe in a little bit over here too. Kinda like that. Now, what was I saying? Oh, I was, I was saying that it's been a long time I've been out of town, and I love to go out of town, but, oh, I couldn't wait to get home. Just, there's no place like home where you can be yourself. You can be comfortable. Guess that I'm kind of been forced to be a homebody. So now I've got so used to it, I just want to be home a lot of times when I should be enjoying being out. What I mean when I say I've been forced to be a homebody is that um, I have low vision. And I have a restricted license, driver's license, so I can't just go anywhere I want to. I'm going to get just a little bit more of this yellow. And I'm going to mess with, maybe I should let that leaf dry just a little bit. I'm going to go in here with just a little bit of and so I don't get out of town and get to go a lot of places like other people do unfortunately but I think I've kind of got used to it now and when I get out I can't wait to get home but it was a good experience. When I get out in a new place, sometimes I have a hard time sleeping. So I think that was my main problem. But I tell you what, it's straightened up my sleep since I've been home. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let the leaves dry a little and I'm gonna go start working in the pumpkin itself. 
And I think I'm going to use, like, mix this um, red ochre and this, it's kind of a dark, it's kind of an orangish red. You can, like I said, you can see the color if you take a screenshot. Now I'm going to just try to go over here. Probably going to have to go in with a little darker where he didn't. Because I don't think I got mine as dark as he did. But we'll see. I mean, I didn't get my background as dark as he did, I don't think. It's looking pretty good. Now, I think he went this way. For his pumpkin. Get rid of some more of those black lines. It really doesn't matter. And honestly, if I was just doing this off camera, I probably wouldn't have added them. Because when I'm doing it myself, I can just stick my nose right up in there and it won't bother nobody. <laughs> so... Trying to learn how to do this. Now I do it for some things, like when I'm using my fabric castell, I like to use those with the black lines. But for a painting like this, I probably wouldn't. Now. Since I think I am, go I am going to use a little bit darker of a, let's see, this is the burnt sienna, so I think I'm going to go in with some burnt umber, just a little bit, hopefully I won't squeeze out a big giant glob like I'm known to do, I waste a lot of paint. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Again, just a little bit. Just scrub in a little bit of that darker color. Don't worry, I won't go back over it. Yep. Mm, probably don't need it on this one. I'll put a little bit anyway. Okay. Yeah. Probably should do this. Oh, I can't talk. Especially since I'm gonna get the excess paint off my brush since I use dark lines to help camouflage them just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Go in here. I hope you guys are seeing this well. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Got some water dripped on there. All right. Now, maybe I should go in with some this pure orange and see. I keep getting way too much on my brush. Oh, I don't want to go in with the lighter one color yet.
I think they call this a lumpy bumpy um, pumpkin. So it's kind of, if you get the template, you'll see it's uh, probably even a little more bumpy than I traced it out. Pretty good. Got to dig it out of this burnt sienna so you can see it. Okay. Let's put just a little bit back here. I think that's too light back there, but that's all right. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna get a brighter yellow. Let's see. We get a brighter, a little bit brighter of a yellow to go in the um, leaves a little bit. And give them some more highlight. So y'all, I may have to try to ed uh, edit if this goes way too long. But maybe you guys won't mind watching a longer video if it's actually painting. I don't know, really. <laughs> okay, now I'm just trying to get just a little bit on my brush, but... Looks better with that brighter yellow, huh? Maybe because I let it dry. Not too much. Wipe some off. I don't know, I always like a painting better when it has a lot of yellow in it. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, <laughs> but I think it really makes things look nice. So remember, look at the at the end of the description of this video if you want to get the face group facebook group where you can get an in-depth lesson for this and you can also get the pattern if you're interested i thought it was a perfect fall painting and i just wanted to try it not exactly like he did but Somewhat. He meaning the artist. Maybe getting too much highlight here. I don't know. I'll take a step back here. Or, uh, since it's, I'm already sitting, maybe not quite a step, but a stop and look.
just a little bit there. Okay, I might be done with the leaves, maybe. Good. Might be done with those. Now I'm going to go in with some yellow and a brighter orange. So I can bring out my pumpkin a little bit. Bring out the highlight. Carve it out of this uh, burnt sienna background. Okay. I'm liking it. I liked this project because, you know, blue and orange are complementary colors, and I probably would have chosen a blue background. But sometimes I get tired of just a blue or a teal background. This is kind of nice to do it different, differently. Put a little bit more yellow in that time. Oops, probably got a little crazy there. Got some green mixed in there, I think. I'll clean my brush off a little bit but you know it doesn't really matter I guess because pumpkins do have some green occasionally I think yeah, I'll smooth it out a little bit yeah, I don't know how oh yeah I remember I went in there with some green that's why I got some of that green If you're looking for another fall painting, Tracy Kiernan's going to have one come out probably, I think, usually comes out on Saturday or Sunday. So if you look up Tracy Kiernan, K-I-E-R-N-A-N on YouTube, step-by-step -step painting, she will have some, a, a nice one coming out. I'm going to try to paint it too. I don't know if I will do it on YouTube, but I am going to try it. Clean some of that off there. Okay. Now I'm going to go in over here. I think I'm going to mainly leave Going in with some more yellow here. Got some of that green in there. I can see it. I don't know if you can, but I kind of like this uh, yellow for highlights. It's kind of really bringing that out. I had a teacher once tell me that I make sure every part has a what did she say? I make sure every part gets a fair 
hand, which is not very a, really a compliment. She was saying I need to have a little more variation, but I really can see what she means. So I'm just gonna kinda go in there and dot it, kinda play on that bumpy effect. And too much paint. I like this yellow, this highlights on here. Make it look a little more organic. And put just a A little bit back there, not much. Sorry, I'm getting quiet, y'all. When I try to, when I'm kind of getting into something, I kind of get quiet, I guess. I'm gonna go in here and kind of bring out a brighter highlight in some parts of it. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. Now I need to get in that back spot without getting it to getting too much pain over there. So I'm gonna try this round brush. Don't want it to be too bright because it's in the back, but it needs to not look flat. Hmm, I like this brush pretty good over here.
Now, I think the pumpkin is probably... I'm going to think I'm going to get ready to call it done. The pumpkin part. And... That looks pretty good, I think. Keep messing with it. This video is going to be two hours long. Okay. Now I need to figure out what I want to do with the, um, the stem. I'm gonna mix some yellow and this brown together and see what I can come up with. Cause it's got some green in there, but I need to have a little different differentiation. Is that the word? Or is a lot of the words that a lot of differentiality. They add ality on the end of everything, which kind of drives me nuts, but I'm going to use it here. Okay. That looks, yeah, we're trying to get a little texture over here. I have to let it dry a little bit. Now, I think I'm going to go... In with my leaves with some more yellow and with this round brush. And I think I'm going to call it done. Let's give it a little bit more highlight here. I'm sorry, I'm very quiet here. I guess I want this one to be really bright green. a lot of yellow but I like it and just a little touch here a little touch here 
Now I'm going to smooth it out with a little bit of water. And I think I'm going to call that good enough for the leaves. Now, I am going to, wait, let me see, that might be too bright. Let me see if I can, I'm a little bright on that, but that's all right. Now, what can I do? I guess I could go in here with a little yellow. It kind of blends in with all those other colors. done I am going to I think go in over here with just a little bit of this um, I got it just a hair too bright over here so I'm gonna go in with some of that darker green cover it up just a little bit Okay, now, one thing that they did, I don't know if I can get it to work or not since uh, it's so dark already, but I'm going to go in here with some really dark, what's it called? It's this one, I think is the one I used, raw umber, and I'm going to kind of put like a like, I don't know, it's like a darkness around the corner, vignette, vignette, or whatever you want to call it, kind of draws the eye into the center. That's what kind of what they did. I'm going to try it on mine. I did try it with a lighter color. It didn't show up very well before I started painting. And this one's showing up pretty good. Okay, let me get some of this paint off. A little more off. Just a dab more. Kind of like it. Get kind of carried away over here, but. You know, I'm kind of liking it. I think I'm getting carried away. I kind of like this darker color around my pumpkin. Get some water in there to thin it out a bit. Well, it wasn't what I originally had planned to do, but 
I'm going with it. What about you? What do you think? Okay. It's a little darker. Alright. I'm calling it done. Like, share, and comment, please. Thank you. Oh, and subscribe. Martha Makes Art. Or Martha Makes. I'm maybe changing my name soon. Thank you.